How's it going guys? In this video I'm going to be giving you a tip that has been passed down to me by my father and it relates to getting a bolt to thread into position that basically is refusing to go in or that you could have a bracket seal like that that's slightly out of line. So the last person that was at this job um, left the top side of the threads damaged when they were putting that bracket down. I uh, elongated the hole down here to try and help it but it still doesn't want to move down into position this this bracket is actually free down here and you can you can move it back and over so if you see there it pushes it pushes all the way in but I'm just going to show you a quick tip on how you can do that and it doesn't just relate to this job it relates to uh, many many other jobs that that might happen to you so i'll just bring you over to the vise and we'll take a look i have the bolt nice and secure in the vise now and the next thing i plan on doing is i'm going to put some automatic transmission fluid on top of this it's great lubricating fluid and i'm going to get a hacksaw and i'm going to go straight down the middle of this bolt so i'm going to go straight down the middle but I don't want to go all the way down. I just want to go to the top side. See where that thread is damaged there as well from the top being burred. So just go down halfway like that. And uh, I'll show you how I do that in a sec. Like I said, it's straight down the center you want to go. Okay, so I just re-secured it so it might be a little bit easier for you to see. And just like that, straight down the middle. So I'm going to go about a quarter to a half the way down. Okay, so for this particular one, that should be enough. Don't know if you can see it there. I'm bringing it in a little bit closer. So as you can see, I believe that should be enough for this particular bolt. I'll just wire brush that off now in a minute. But what that actually does is it allows the top of the uh, bolt to collapse in and gain thread easier. Then as it goes down to the base side here, you have you still have the full amount of thread and the uh, bolt is able to be secured and torqued up as normal um, but this bit at the start just allows it to uh, collapse in when you're starting the thread and get a bolt that doesn't want to go into position to start and uh, i'm going to bring it over now and see if this has worked all right so i have it in position down there and i just started it off a couple of threads and there you go. So that's it back snug in the position there like it should be. And there is no issues with tightness. You can torque that up to whatever the setting should be and you won't have any problem with grip um, at all. It is something, like I said, that was passed on to me by my father. I passed it on to quite a few people in the trade that I've worked with. And... Uh, I hope you find it useful. It's a very, um, it's a very helpful tip that has got me out of a lot of situations over the years. It's not something you'll use all the time, but when needed, it can certainly, certainly get you through a job um, without re-tapping or looking for new bolts or lots of different, uh, lots of different reasons. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, okay. please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.